Hello and welcome to Silent Creativa. The victim of today's video was quite an experiment. First, it is a superhero girl and it is bad girl which has black hands and I tried to remove the black color, but uh, yeah, there was no way. And I was with my mom and just sit, uh, sitting on the couch and tried to cut out the eye sockets while I was sit uh, sitting with her and uh, destroyed her nearly completely and had to make the eye sockets quite huge. That was why I thought about, okay, maybe a violet Avogarden design, but she is smirking and that doesn't fit. And then I was like, okay, maybe something like a Victorian maiden inspired dress. Um, yeah. Then I thought, okay, so let's make her, her a little bit manga, anime like, and give her this huge eyes. And I was just trying out to make this still work. Yeah was quite a journey because I decided for red eyes for a reason I uh, had a hair color in mind that should be fitting with red eyes but here yeah, in the end I had a updo for the hair in mind or something for the hair in mind and with all that, the maiden part was not very fitting for her. But we will get to this uh, as soon as I make the costume. So first of all, of course, making the eyes out of polymer clay and then coloring it first with, uh, with some uh, soft pastels and then pencils and yeah in the end glazing them with some epoxy resin or uv resin is it and inserting them into the head after repainting this i'm talking a lot of strange stuff today i think and yeah it's quite obvious that the repainting process is uh, the same as usual so just sketching out the eyes and placing some soft pastels everywhere where it is needed of course after getting some layers of mr super clear on i think this time i used two layers and yeah then some msc in between and just going back and forth between the steps and I decided to go a little bit more natural this time because with the hair I had in mind and the red eyes I think she would look or she will look extra enough
After doing all the makeup part, it was time for my least favorite part of the repaint, which always is eyelashes. <laughs> I'm I still don't know what it is with the lashes and me. We are not getting together very well. So yeah, but in the end they uh, were in place and everything was fine and I was able to try the eyes on and first I thought I just want to glue them in with um just super glue but that wasn't doing so well so I again went to the two-part epoxy clay. After I glued her, her head back together, it was time for hair, and I found this really pretty color, and uh, yeah, so I just had to make a doll with this hair, and um, I think I will do another one, because I decided to sell this doll which will be the first time I will sell a doll, and yeah. Um, after I finished her, I was... I, I really loved the color of the hair, so... You probably will see this color again. And yeah, I already glued it the way I thought it would be right for the hairdo I had in mind. And though I thought, okay, let's make a ponytail in the back. Is ponytail the right word? I hope so. Um, I just left the spot in the middle of the hat free from hair and made some yarn wefts that I rolled up later and glued in the, uh, them in the middle. And yeah, then it was time to get the hair, as I thought it would look good for her. Getting the hair separated was a bit tricky this time, but in the end it went okay. And though I wanted to cut her hair just with an X-Actor knife this time, I gave it another try to cut it on camera, and I think that went uh, okay. I quite like her hair in the end.
getting her hair right was quite a bit of going forward and backward and trying things out and yeah after it was in this situation i decided maiden wouldn't fit her because how i did the hair was a little bit more magical girlish and yeah so i decided to go a little bit more with the theme of a magical girl what you will see in the design of the dress what i will show you as the next thing but i really wanted to go a little bit more on her so i added a bow and a flower that is a little bit more rhinestone-ish. So I made another sketch for the dress and I quite liked the design and yeah. So I tried to make this out of the um, top she already had or make a pattern out of the top that she had and to get as near as possible to the dress I sketched out. And yeah, just the, the, though the top of her, uh, her dress is to the neck and yeah, quite fitting, I thought I don't need to make a new uh, or a pattern with the um, tape version or tape method and just use the top she already had for it. I was very happy about the dress in the end, I have to say. Um, and I decorated it with some, or with one red wine, rhinestone and a red bow pearl, um, just to add a little bit more to the feeling of magical girls. And for her boots, I decided to just leave them as they are because I thought the yellow color is fitting and yeah, so she was finished and I first thought to add more rhinestones, a little bit like polka dots on her dress, but yeah, maybe that's, that would be too much. So I just went with the style I already had. So I think I will put her on eBay next week and let's see how this will go. It is the first doll, a doll I want to sell and I'm quite excited for it. So wish me luck with it. I hope you enjoyed this video and this little bit different doll from what I normally would do especially with the ice if you like to leave a comment like this video share it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and yeah have a nice week 
and until next time, bye.